All right, guys, good evening, good evening, and uh, today what we're going uh, to do here is a quick tutorial. We're going to be showing you how to draw a cartoon of LeBron James. So we have our reference material here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so for this exercise, you're going to be uh, using a Crayola marker. We're going to need a black and a gray marker, and if you have a, uh, a giant poster marker, that'll be awesome uh, to use also as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first shape that we're going to do is we're going to do our basic head shape. So I just kind of forget about the features. And I kind of look at like how is head shape. You, know? you don't have to get it exactly perfect, but just look at the overall, the overall idea. Okay. Okay. Now, what you want to do next is just it's real simple. You go ahead and you'll start outlining your I like to call this line number two, which is basically me separating the dark from the light. So the skin being the light, the hair being the dark. So what does that mean, right? This is what I this is what I mean. Okay. And remember, at the end of your picture, you can make adjustments. So let's just say up here, I might want to add a little bit more of a crown. Well, you can do that when you color the hair in. So if you if you don't get it exactly right, don't worry about it. As long as it looks like LeBron James, okay? And then we'll do our separation of this part here. This is the quickest way to get your picture down on paper. Okay. Now we can go ahead and begin doing our facial features. Okay. So I think one of the easiest ways to go ahead and approach this picture here is to go ahead and put the nose shape first. So we already know our nose shape usually is going to come right about uh, to the bottom of the ear. So I like to draw, what I do is I'll draw the half nose shape first give him a small little nostril there right and you see how that looks like a half of a nose and then I'll add the other half here okay and then I'll add my bridge to the nose and this will tell me kind of where my eyebrows are going to go so I can do something like this here Okay, now let's go ahead and add our mouth shape here. So we'll say, I'm gonna make it a little bit wide out here. So I'll put the edges of the mouth first and then I'll say, oh look, and I'll bring it around like this. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll just add the shape like so. So you want to put the, the bottom part first, like that. And then you just bring it in like so. And then we'll add our bottom lip here. Okay. And now we'll just add our teeth and I'll make those look like one giant shape. And then I'll color in what I don't need. Alright, now let's do the eye shape here. 
so we'll go we want the eye shape to kind of go in but we want it to go kind of close to the to the uh, nose because we don't we want the, the mouth to be the biggest kind of thing so we'll just do like this one right and then we'll go two here and then because he has a lot of uh, what you call uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, eyebrow space or eye line space just this space right here look I don't know what to call it so we'll do something like this you see now we can add this eye right here a little bit off center and this one will be more on center get it and then we'll go ahead and we'll add the eye in there see and then we just make a straight line now we'll just add the other side of the nose here we'll add the cheek structure just a little line like this okay and uh, just a little line there and a little bit of a line here okay now remember I told you at the end you can make adjustments so just add a little bit of a line here I said oh, I want to put a little bit more up here no problem I can do that okay now we're going to do the next part of our drawing which is going to be our shadows so this is where we get our gray marker out and then we will kind of color in the space make sure you leave some lighting in the eyes see how I left my lighting in the side there okay then I will oh by the way where I'm putting the shadows at right now you can use this shadow technique for any face okay that means that there are parts of the face that normally never get light when the face is facing the camera I hope you got all that <laughs> so just follow along and then when you draw your next picture you could probably just do the same spaces that I did here with the exception of one or two spaces because LeBron has a very distinguished shadow right here in between his nose but let's go ahead and add a shadow here one right two right three okay down the side of the nose and we're going to color that one little space in and then we'll do the underside of the nose okay now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some shadow here and here right and normally I'll pick one side of the picture and I'll do like a, a long shadow one like this and also that ear okay and you're gonna also do the top lip here underneath the chin okay and now these are where LeBron's shadows might differ because he has this line that kind of does like this over his head on both sides and he has a little bit of a line here here and also we're going to do some shadows over the expression lines what that does and you can use this part on any, on all your drawings as well because these are not specific to his face but when you draw expression lines like the smile lines and stuff like that you can add a little shadow over the top of them and it kills the brilliancy of them so it looks like they're there but it doesn't look powerful enough to make the person look old okay now let's just go ahead here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add these little ones for LeBron okay and a little shadow here and there all right so now guys we're gonna go to our next part which is where we get the poster marker 
Okay, we're gonna start from the bottom. Okay, we're gonna color in our shapes. So we colored in this shape up here. Okay. And it's like a little fade, so we won't go all the way down. Then we'll do the eyebrows here. Okay. And then we're going to do the beard. So we'll come around and we'll just kind of circle our beard shape here. And then we'll go ahead and just kind of color it in. what I would do I'll take a little marker like this and I'll just make some little circles on the end of the beard so you see how it makes it look more real just make some little circles like this that's how you do a beard okay and now let's not forget his little perfect mustache okay and see the little small small nostrils he has and I'm even going to darken the eyes just a little bit okay and add a little bit of a line there and just a few little hairs here on the edge of my brows and let's go ahead and just make some straight lines over here just to kind of darken in our fade there okay and oh yeah gum line see how I make these little shapes right here on the top okay and then we'll put one in the middle just like that okay and a little line here on the top just to give them a little bit of a indention on the forehead and I always like to add a little shadow right to the side of the mouth just to enhance that smile because that's what I want to be the focal point of my picture. I'm just going to put the inner workings of the ear and some flashes. And pretty much guys we uh, got our drawing down to a science. Okay, so guys, all that's left to do now is just put LeBron on here. This is my little LeBron cartoon. I hope that you guys enjoyed our video and tutorial. Uh, we'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon. If you uh, like to have your favorite celebrity, your, for, your uh, favorite uh, sports celebrity, or just whatever celebrity, you want us to teach you how to draw them on our YouTube channel, we'll be happy to do that for you. Um, just make the request. Um, you can email it. Just go to the contact us and email it. Um, or just put it right here in the comment section as a suggestion for another video. And we'll go ahead and we'll take care of you, okay? All right, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. 
Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always guys, I wish you happy cartooning.